Hey everyone, my name is Jeff Sawyer. I'm a developer advocate for IBM Bluemix, and today we're going to be talking about deploying a Go app in IBM Bluemix and how to uh, get started with that. So um, we're going to be talking about today using a framework called Gynonic. It's basically think of like uh, Express uh, for Nodeland. It's basically a framework to do all the routing and everything you really need to do for for creating a. a a, a web app and, and go. So without further ado, let's jump into it. So first thing you need to do is open up a web browser and go and, and open up a new tab. And we want to go to ibm.biz slash go dash hello world. This will bring us to a page on GitHub. So let's check out what's going on here. This is the source code for a pretty simple uh, Golang app uh, that uses a uh, Jin uh, Jonic. It's basically a, 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 a rallying framework for, for Go. Uh, so let's go, scroll down. Um, if you're interested in more information about how, how Go kind of works and how the history of it and how it kind of works in Bluemix, check out this link right here. This blog, also this, this link right here, check it out. But um, let's go ahead and jump into how to actually get this app working on Bluemix. So first things first, we, you need a, a Bluemix account. So if you don't have one, open up a new tab, go to Bluemix. Bluemix.net, and since I'm already logged in, uh, this is not there, but there'll be a sign up button here in the top right hand corner. It's free, and you can use it all you want. So let's go back. Um, assuming you already have a Bluemix account, click on this giant button that says deploy the Bluemix here. This will take us to a page that's going to kind of do some black magic for us and get this app up and running. So again, if you don't have a Bluemix account, click sign up, but if you do, go ahead and click login. And I'm going to go ahead and sign in. So this this right here is going to basically uh, set the set up a, a Go app for us in our own Bluemix account, and going to go ahead and, and give us a, a a Hello World basically app and, and Go, which is pretty awesome, and with all just a, a click of a button. So all we need to do is click on Deploy right here, and then that's basically it. So while this is going, it's going to take a couple minutes. Uh, we're going to switch to how to do this command line and also how you really do this and modify the source code. Going through the browser here, it's going to actually compile the Go source code for us and set all that up for us. But we're, we want to actually do this command line as well. So let's let's go look on how to do that. So I'm going to click on this little Git repo link and go back to GitHub and go check out the instructions down here below. So first things first, you need to have Go set up in the Cloud Foundry command line tool. Uh, complete steps one through three, this is pretty important. But let's go ahead and go do this. Um, so I'll go, I'll just basically copy the instructions here. So CD into Go path. You make sure you have your Go path set up, that's pretty important. So it, you should have a folder uh, called bin, pack, PKG, and source. So we're, we're gonna wanna go into source also. There, so. Next step is running a git clone. We'll go back here and copy this. It's going to pull down the files from GitHub. And this is going to be uncompiled code. This is uh, Go code. So we can check that out. We'll go into that project and go look at it. So if we go look at Go Hello World, this is Go code. So this is up here at the top. It's doing a couple imports um, for, for basically running a, a simple website. Um, this is basically our entry point for the application. It's going to render a, a template for us called index.tmpl, and we'll go check that out. So the title of it, let's go ahead and change that. Instead of main website, that's kind of boring. Let's, let's call it super awesome website. And also, it's going to give us a, a simple uh, JSON response as well when we hit a URL um, called slash high. Instead of saying slash high, let's change that to something a little bit more exciting. Happy Thanksgiving, since it's almost Thanksgiving. Okay, so let's go back to GitHub and check out these instructions, what we need to do next. So we already did that. Okay, let's. all we have to do is run make now. Um, you, need, you probably need to be on a Mac or Linux to do this. You can do this with Windows as well. If you're doing it on Windows, make sure you're doing this in SIGWIN. So we can type in the word just make. It's going to compile all this Go code for us. It's going to go pull in a couple dependencies for us and compile a Go binary. So if we check this out, there is now a Go binary here called uh, Go Hello World. So um, 
Before we actually deploy it, let's check in how this actually works. So there's an important file called manifest.yaml here. Let's take a look at it really quick. So this is the magic that's basically making uh, this work. So um, to run a, a Go binary in Bluemix, you're basically pointing to an executable file. In this case, we're pointing to uh, this 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 file called Go Hello World, the thing we just compiled. That's pretty. We need that, and also we'll come back to this file in a second. We also will this this proc file is pretty important as well. So check this out. This basically tells the application it's going to go look at look for this file and execute this as well. So let's go back to GitHub and look at the instructions, what we need to do next. So I'm already logged into Bluemix, so we can skip step number nine right now, uh, but if you're not logged into Bluemix, you need to go ahead and do this. However, I, I skipped step eight. I wanted to come back to this. So we're gonna go back to manifest.yaml. This is pretty important. So if you deploy the application as is right now, it's not going to work because the name needs, the host name needs to be basically unique. So I'm gonna change this to JBS I'm just going to give it a random number there, 25, my initials and 25. Basically, all we need to do next is type CF push. That's it. And it's going to go ahead and create an application for us, give us a URL for the application, and upload the application. This, should, this shouldn't take too long. Um, it depends on really your internet connection how, and how fast, but I, due to video editing, I'm going to skip some of this out and come back to it once the application is done deploying. So if you notice here on the screen, it's actually downloading um, a, Go, a version of Go we specified, and it's also uh, pulling down the dependencies that we needed as well, which is pretty cool. It does all that for us. So it's going, it's about, it's bringing up our application right now. It says one, our app is starting. We only have one instance of it, which is fine. Cool, our application's up already. That wasn't too bad. Let's go ahead and copy the URL for our application and go check it out. So we come to our website, we see it's actually up and running. Let's go hit this extra URL, this JSON response also, make sure that's working as well. Awesome, it says Happy Thanksgiving, it's showing our change, that's cool. So earlier on, we also uh, deployed this application through just clicking a simple button from the GitHub README. So let's go back and check that out. If we go back to the Deploy to Bluemix tab, we'll see our app is done finished deploying. And all we need to do is just click on View Your Application here. So again, we can see up our app up and running. We got a, a simple uh, Go app up and running. Let's just go check out this other URL, make sure it works. Cool. So this was uh, two different ways to get uh, a Go getting started app up and running in Bluemix. So I hope you learned today how to simply deploy a, a Go get it started app to Bluemix. It's pretty simple. I hope you learned something new. Thanks again for watching. Um, I love your feedback. Um, follow me on Twitter. My Twitter handle is at Chase the Lawyer. And thanks again for watching. Have an awesome Thanksgiving. Bye-bye.